my name is Robert. I'm one of the pottery instructors at the Virginia Beach Art Center. Today I'm going to do a demo on how to make a simple bird feeder or bird house. This is a project using slabs of clay and no real special tools. For my form, I'm going to use an oatmeal box wrapped in newspaper. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is to cover your form with paper. It's important not to tape the paper to the form. The form must be able uh, to slide out of this paper sleeve. So the paper is going to act like a resist to the clay. And I usually use four layers or more of paper because it makes removing the form so much easier. Now measure around the form. I use a piece of adding machine tape to measure the circumference of the form. I place this on my slab of clay for the wall construction. I make a straight edge and then measure the height of the clay wall. This is up to you how high you want the clay wall to be. I think this is about five or six inches. Make a straight edge on one end and place your adding machine tape to make sure that you're going to have a long enough piece of clay. It's better to be longer than to be shorter. Bevel the edge of your wall piece and now lay your form on this uh, piece of clay and slightly, slowly wrap the clay around the form. Bring it all the way around, a little bit of pressure to overlap the two. Then take a tool and cut through both layers of clay at the overlap. Remove the scrap of clay above and the scrap of clay below. And now bevel this edge and using some slip and a scoring tool, I will score and slip this beveled edge. Then I'll bring the pieces together and smooth over and my wall construction is now pretty much complete. For the bottom, a slab of clay is placed on my bench and I place the form gently on top. Lightly score around it. Do not cut the clay, just score it. This gives you a mark as to where you're going to slip and score the bottom for the attachment of the wall section. Once you've completed this, take the wall section Gently place it on the scored area, slightly wiggle and press down, and now the wall is attached to the bottom. Now slightly undercut all the way around your piece and remove the excess clay. And smooth off that beveled uh, edge. Now place your project on a board with a piece of paper so you won't have to uh, pick it up by its wall again. Now any pattern, cutting, or stamping should be done while the form is still inside the clay. I make my patterns out of tar paper. It's pretty indestructible and it's a very inexpensive material to use. Depending upon whether this is going to be a bird feed or a birdhouse depends on how you're going to cut the wall of your project. For this project, I'm cutting four large windows. I find birds are attracted to a feeder better if they can see through the feeder and don't feel intimidated about approaching it. Now slowly remove the paper from the form and the form should slide right out of the paper. This is why it's important not to tape that paper to the form. Using a sponge or a damp finger, smooth out the rough cuts. It's easy to do in this stage when the form is leather hard. I like to punch holes in the bottom of my bird feeders. It allows for drainage of water and the center hole will allow a bolt to fasten it to a post. For the roof, cut a circle pattern, again using tar paper as my pattern. 
and cut the tar paper circle out and cut halfway to the center of the circle and bring the cut edges overlapping them making a cone shape. You can make this cone any shape you like. I found this at the hardware store. It's a vent for a dryer pipe, I believe. It was only a couple of dollars, and I decided I'd use that for my form for this feeder. After cutting a circle of clay, I sprayed my form with some WD-40 or some uh, lubricant so the clay will slip off the form. And then I gently pressed this clay onto my form shape. Since this form had ridges in it, I decided I would use those as the decoration for the roof. Using the tool, I bevel the top edge wall. This makes a little more surface area for the roof to attach. If you'd like to decorate the bird feeder, you can use some stamps or some uh, tool to make impressions. Don't forget the holes for the perches for the bird to land on when they come to your feeder. I also punch a hole in the roof. This will give me a place to put a bolt should I decide to hang this from a tree. I like to fire these projects either together or separate. Once the projects are leather hard, you can attach the roof or fire them separately. The final bird feeder should look something like this. This is one I made earlier. And this is one where I actually glazed the top and the bottom separately and then put them together when they were fired and let the glaze actually hold the roof on. This made it really easy to glaze both pieces with contrasting glaze colors. So whether you make a bird feeder like this or maybe a birdhouse with one single port for the bird to enter, it's a fun project and something easy to do. So I'm Robert, thanks for watching, and let me know if you have success making your own bird feeders or bird houses.